authorities are investigating an ATM explosion in West Philadelphia. It happened inside of a Chinese restaurant at 57th and Arch Streets just before midnight. Yeah, right now it's not clear if the suspect got away with any cash. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin live now in Center City with the latest details on this. Caroline. Well, Brian and Sarah, one employee was inside that Chinese restaurant at the time of that explosion. They were not injured. There is no damage to that building. But right now, the ATF here in Philadelphia, the bomb squad and the fire marshal's office are all investigating. The ATM inside this Chinese restaurant in West Philadelphia is damaged after it exploded late Tuesday night. The ATF says just before midnight, one man entered the Foodland Express Chinese restaurant at 57th and Arch. He placed a device inside this ATM, causing the machine to explode. Officials are now working to figure out if he got away with any cash. The problem we have is that ATM crime is very easy and it's very low risk. David Tenty so is the president of the ATM of, Security uh, Association. He says ATM attacks are on the rise. ATM crime in general is, is up uh, about 600% since uh, 19, uh, 2019. The pandemic was a, a real boost. We saw a big increase. But when it comes to ATM explosions, Tenty says they are still rare. The ATF says there have been approximately four ATM explosions in Philadelphia in the past few months. We reported on one at the end of January at North 56th and Media Streets, and one in mid-May on the 3500 block of North 17th Street. The ATF says there is no information that links Tuesday night's incident to prior explosions. They describe the device used as a cardboard tube consistent with an illegal end device explosive. The reaction is so fast that there's nothing anybody can do to uh, you know, prevent the explosion. That's why Tenti tells us some banks are now implementing an ink staining system. It uh, pumps ink into the cassettes, the cash cassettes inside the ATM and makes the cash worthless.